Life is a gift and a journey. Towards what goal are you journeying? This gift of life, where do you want to spend it? With whom? For what? Whoever you are, wherever you are, God is inviting you to be His special messenger, to bring His word, His love, His joy, His peace to all peoples through the communications media. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity The sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word And now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim That I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. We pray for the following Thanksgiving intentions of Don and Marilyn Lalien and family, Jess and Dr. Melly Dizon, Mrs. Nida Este, Mr. Jose Aguilos and family, Mr. and Mrs. Donato Lalien, Dream Vet Groups Philippines Incorporated staff and employees, The McGon Enterprises, Erna Maliari, Alessandra Melba Villas, Attorney John Nathaniel and Romilly Marasigan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Louis and Marilu Cadilena, Lando and Elma Cachuela on their wedding anniversary, for the blessings bestowed on the physical therapy department, for the fifth wedding anniversary of Tom and Dot Dimandal, for the opening of the Visual Sense Optical Clinic of Dr. Lelaine Domangas. Birthday Thanksgiving of Attorney John Nathaniel Marasigan, Jamara Riz Huyohoy, Marlu Riviza, and Marian Liego. For the intentions of Tat Gigi Villa Abrilie Coronel and Children, Teresita Villa Abrilie, Beng Balsita Mejos, Rudy and Jean Subiaco, Friends of Paulines, Cole, Marasigan, and Casas Law Offices, and the intentions of all the participants of this Holy Mass. For complete healing and good health of Natividad and Capito Francisco, offered by Elma Cachuela, Nicole Lagula, Solomon Barbas, offered by Irene Haranilia, Jermin Chu, Mila Villa Abrilie, Elpigio Barcelona, Arturo Del Fiero, Francia Marasigan, and the sick who are watching this Holy Mass. For the guidance and safety and good health of my family, offered by Linda Atabug Chong. For the successful 37th Foundation Anniversary Celebration of the Davao Doctors' College 
on September 25 to 28, 2012. For the successful conduct of the accreditation visits for the departments of nursing, radiologic technology, physical therapy, optometry, and psychology of Davao Doctors College. For the successful review, guidance, and safety of the radiologic technology board takers for November 2012. For the appro approval of the new course offering, BS in Hospitality Management, major in Medical Tourism. For the eternal repose of Edgar Lumaino, Rosaria and Maximus Saez, offered by Zinaida Ablang, Arsenio, Rolando, Rosario, Angela, Benigno, Alexander, and Elisa and Edgar Del Fierro. Dear brothers and sisters, good morning. Jesus tells his disciples that as the Messiah, he will be delivered into the hands of men and will be put to death. The way to glory is through humility and suffering. But the disciples fail to understand him because they are thinking of their own personal power and glory, which they hope to receive when Jesus is acclaimed as the Messiah. Knowing what is in their hearts, the Lord places a little child in their midst. In God's kingdom, whoever has the heart of a child, that is, whoever humbles himself and serves the little ones, the poor, those with neither power nor voice, will be considered great. To preside our Holy Mass is Reverend Father Richie J. Gamaya. The Holy Mass is made possible in collaboration with the Davao Doctors College Choral, Davao City. Come, let us sing and joyfully celebrate. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray that we will grow in the love of God and of one another. Father, guide us as you guide creation according to your law of love. May we love one another and come to perfection in the eternal life prepared for us. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The godly life of a just person becomes a reproach to the wicked. They seek to do away with him because he is a reminder of their wickedness. The just one foreshadows the Lord Jesus, who will suffer, die, and rise for mankind's salvation. The first reading. From the Book of Wisdom The wicked say, Let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, God will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put the just one to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. The Word of the Lord.
St. James writes, jealousy and self-seeking lead to conflicts and disputes. He who follows the Lord's teaching on humility lives a life of service and of peace. The second reading. From the letter of St. James. Beloved, where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insincerity. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. Where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from? Is it not from your passions that make war within your members? You covet, but do not possess. You kill and envy, but you cannot obtain. You fight and wage war. You do not possess because you do not ask. You ask, but do not receive, because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee, but he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. Yet three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent. They had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Before the Mass started, one of you said, Oh, Father, my lipstick, oh, Father. And then a little foundation, Father. And then the one who applied the little foundation said, Father needs this because he is a moreno. And I told both of them, if I were you, the one who told me I had a little foundation, who is misty so looking, maybe I don't need that. But who among us would not want to be good looking? Anybody? We always want to be good looking. We always want to look young. 
We always want to be praised. We always want to be always number one. We always want to be always on the top, whether in beauty, in performance, in whatever. We want always to be on top. And maybe if Jesus were here today, he would not be a good salesman, not be a good promoter, because for him to follow him is not to be number one. It's not only to be good looking. In fact, the first point that Jesus wants us to learn today is presenting himself, not the pogey points. Jesus did not present himself to follow him because he is a pogey point. And he has a lot of pogey points. In fact, the first point Jesus said, he taught his disciples, the Son of Man is to be handed over to men and they will kill him. Is this a pogey point? This is not a pogey point. This is something negative for us. We want to live longer lives. We want to look good. We want to be praised. We want to be number one. And now here Jesus is telling the Son of Man will be handed over to men and they will kill him. And this means, but of course, he continues. After three days, his de the death, his death, after three, three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. And this means that for Jesus to follow him, entrance into God's kingdom does not only is not only gauged by the pogey points by being good looking by being in a pleasurable situation but to have the sense of sacrifice for the sake of salvation to have the sense of sacrifice for the sake of salvation maybe we also ask ourselves because sometimes in this world of ours, this word sacrifice and this sense of sacrifice is no longer believed. Because people would say, I have a lot of sacrifices already. But are we truly sacrificing for the sake of salvation or we are sacrificing because of our wrong choices in life or because of our sinfulness? If we truly offer ourselves to the Lord, then that would lead to salvation. And sacrifices may come, sufferings may come, maybe as we relate with one another, as husband and wife, as lovers, as brothers and sisters, but if we offer our sacrifices for the loved one, then that sacrifice would lead the loved one, would lead the others into being saved. Our sacrifices may also come as we encounter Problems like financial problems for the sake of others. To sacrifice a bit of expenses so that the children, so that my parents who are sick will be safe. Sacrifices may come maybe in the form of uh, physical deficiency or uh, physical sickness, but that sacrifice might be called for so that you may realize that you would feel also the others needing your help, the others needing your prayers. Maybe we ask ourselves, how much sacrifice have we done for others? How much sacrifice have we really, are we really ready in order that others may also feel we are with them in their own sacrifice? Just a couple of days ago, a friend of mine who is undergoing biopsy was so touched by another friend. Of course, we know if I'm correct, a biopsy is a process part of the diagnosis in order to know whether there is cancer. Uh, I'm right. Uh, there, are, there might be nursing students here, medical uh, students here. She was so touched. Why? Because her friend who knows she is undergoing this trial, uh, in fact, even if she is so prayerful, she really felt a little bit down because of what she is undergoing. But this friend of hers, one day, met an accident in the bathroom and she, she fell. Uh, not the one with biopsy, but the friend. And because she is already a little bit old, uh, the, the skin are brittle, it, it was broken. It was so painful. But while in the hospital, this friend whose bones 
are broken. Called up the one undergoing biopsy and told the friend, my dear friend, it is very painful. I am sacrificing so much, but I know you must be sacrificing more. You must be suffering more than I am suffering because, of, uh, because I know where you are now in your journey, I can handle this pain. I will offer this pain for you because you must be suffering more than I am suffering. You must be experiencing this pain more than what I am suffering now. I will offer this sacrifice for you. Even in this sense, my dear friends, it is very consoling to the one who knows that somebody is offering us sacrifices. And this would lead to salvation to the others. Have we also offered sacrifices for others, that others may be saved? And secondly, secondly, uh, Jesus is not offering something like very inviting to follow him. Because in fact, uh, the, second, uh, the second part of the gospel tells us, what were you arguing on the way? Because in fact, they were arguing who among them is the greatest, who among them is first. But Jesus taught them, if anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. If you wish to be great, serve others. If you wish to be the first, then be humble. That's why the first reading tells us of people who are aiming to be number one, they would always disturb, beset the just one. The second reading also tells us so much of the warning of St. Paul. If we are jealous, if we always want to be first, if we always want to be number one, then it would create chaos. It is only when we are humble that we can experience true peace, that we will be able to follow the Lord joyfully and satisfactorily, that we may feel fulfilled and accomplished. That's why maybe we also ask ourselves, are we able to accept who we are, being humble ourselves? Are we ready to serve others? to accept the reality rather than compete, rather than become rivals to one another and always put ourselves number one before others. Uh, there is uh, a story that I read in the internet uh, telling of a boss, a manager and proprietor of a big company who was about to retire already. And so he had a dilemma. Who among the best people he will choose in order to replace him as manager and proprietor. And so what he did was to call the best three of them and gave them an instruction. Okay, I will give you each of you a seed. Please take care of this seed. You know I am retiring. You know I am old. Who would take care of the seed properly? I will give a reward. And they already were suspect suspecting they might replace him as the boss, as the manager. After a month, one of them was so sad because nothing happened to the seed. He planted it, but nothing happened to the seed. After two months, again, nothing happened. The six-month uh, period given is about to come. So after six months, the boss called them up, the three of them. The two were able to bring a beautiful plant out of the seed. But the other one, he only brought with him the pot itself without the, the plant because it did not grow. He was at the back, so silent, while the two, so confident that they will be chosen. The boss said, Now I know who among you is so humble enough and ready to serve to accept who he is and what he is. How come your two seeds grow when in fact I boil them before I give it to you? You know who among you is humble enough to serve and ready to replace me. Congratulations. My dear friends, as we offer this Holy Eucharist, let us 
he take heed to the invitation of Jesus. Not only to present ourselves with the pogi points, but to be ready to sacrifice to others. Not only to aim for the first one to be at the top always, but be ready to serve and be humble ourselves. Please stand. Together let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord that He may help us to be instruments rather than stumbling blocks in bringing others to Him. Aware of our weaknesses but confident of His love, we pray, Lord, hear our prayers. For our religious leaders, may they welcome the gift of diversity in the church and be enriched by the contributions of each one, men and women, young and old, rich and poor, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the rich and the powerful, may they appreciate the gifts which God has given them, not as something to hoard, but an opportunity to be generous to others, especially the weak and the needy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick and the aged, the physically handicapped, and the ignorant, may they be aware that the Lord is present in them in a special way and so welcome them as would Jesus himself, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For all lay people, May they assume and live the role in the life and mission of the people of God as witnesses to Christ wherever they may find themselves. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For our beloved dead, may the Eucharist cleanse them and may the Lord raise them up to eternal joy in His presence. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all the intentions offered at the beginning of this Holy Mass, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Father, hear the prayers of your children who trust in you. Give us a childlike disposition, for your kingdom belongs to the little ones. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, may these gifts which we now offer to show our belief and our love be pleasing to you. May they become for us the Eucharist of Jesus Christ, your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in, our, in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Benedict our Pope, Romulo our Bishop, all bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Prayers of the sick. Father, your Son accepted our sufferings to teach us the virtue of patience in human illness. Hear the prayers we offer for our sick brothers and sisters. May all who suffer pain, illness, or disease realize that they are chosen to be saints and know that they are joined to Christ in his sufferings for the salvation of the world, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Lord, help us with your kindness. Make us strong through the Eucharist. May we put into action the saving mystery we celebrate. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.